Hello and welcome to part 5 of this Omnis Automotive Manifold tutorial. We've just finished running the simulation um, and the residuals have reached the convergence criterion that we've defined and so our simulation has stopped as you can see uh, in the monitor. I'm going to close the monitor so we can move on to post-processing our results. The first step is switching contexts from simulation to results analysis. And next I'm going to load simulation 1 via the icon in the tree. I'm just going to zoom a little bit so we can see our mesh here. And then I'm going to expand. Actually I'm going to show all assembly boundaries so that I can see my three boundaries, the inlet, the walls and the outlet. Now whenever I, I want to, um, to do post-processing on a set of results, I first need to run results analysis via the icon in the tree. And I know that results analysis is running once the spinning circle appears next to the simulation that I'm interested in, in this case simulation 1. So first what I'm going to demonstrate is plotting a quantity um, or plotting a color contour of a quantity, um, in this case static pressure. So I'm going to click on create probe via the pie and then I'm going to select color contour. Um, before I select the field I'm going to select all three of my boundaries in the tree and then in field I'm going to pick static pressure and click apply. And I'll just close the create probe menu and as you can see the results are displayed in the graphical viewing area as well as um, a legend is also displayed. Um, another interesting um, post-processing operation is uh, plotting a quantity over a cutting plane. So I'm going to close this legend and I'm also going to delete this static pressure uh, color contour before plotting a new quantity. So I'm going to begin by creating a new cutting plane. With the cutting plane selected in the tree, if I go to anchor point, I can input the coordinates of the anchor point. And I can also modify the normal vector of my cutting plane. In this case, I would like it to be parallel with the z-axis, so I will simply click um, the letter Z in the properties panel. Okay, and then with the cutting plane selected in the tree, again I'm going to go to Create Probe, select Color Contour, and in this case, uh, let's say I'm interested in the velocity field, I'm going to select Z Velocity, and again click Apply. Now I can see the velocity field, uh, the Z component of the velocity, uh, over the cutting plane that I've just created. And that concludes uh, our post-processing tutorial. I'm going to stop results analysis. And I'd like to thank you for watching.